Hello and welcome back to Chapter Crafts. Uh, what we're going to be doing today is this one, the stamp set, uh, this card, nice simple card. Um, and we're going to be using the Epic Celebration stamp set, freebie, and also the silver embossing paste, which I thought might be a bit different for you, which as you can see, puts a nice little glitter effect i'm going to be using the spots as well um going to be doing these a different color this time because then you can use it for boy um and we're going to be using if, if i have not got them out which i haven't um dimensionals as well but okay right so first of all you need a piece of um if Where's my, do you know something? I think I've lost everything. Um, right, so first of all, you need a piece of card, a piece of whisper white card at 18 and a quarter by 5 and 13 sixteenths and score at 4 and 1 8, which that's what we've done. Then you need a piece of whisper white card, and this needs to be. Five and a quarter by three and seven eighths. But don't, you don't need to worry, you don't need to write it down because I will uh, put all the links to my blog below. Okay. And then we'll watch you also. Um, and also a piece of, with, uh, piece of DSP, which is one, two, three, four. Five and seven eighths by four. Okay. Right, so first of all, what we will do, we will start by gluing this onto. Woo! I do apologise. Bouncing you everywhere. Stick this onto our card base. Okay. So. And we'll pop that over there. Right, okay, next thing you need is your Whisper White. And what we're going to be using as well, we're going to be using the mask. Okay. Um, hmm. I was looking for something in particular. I don't think I've got it out. Right, okay, so get a piece of card or brown paper or something so you can see around the edge, so you can see the edge of your paper. Okay, right now, what we'll do is we're going to be sticking this down with a bit of washi tape. Okay, so a bit of washi tape at the top, and when I'm not. Right, and a bit of washi tape at the bottom. Okay, it doesn't matter if you cover the holes at the top or the bottom because there's where your uh, card is. Right, so we'll get um, these tools. These tools come and you have like a, a palette knife, a and then you have this one. I tend to use this one. Right, okay. So, open up this. Ooh. If it will stay open, stay open. Right, okay. So, get a piece of this and all you do is make sure all your holes are covered on your card. A little piece of whisper white card. You can just see the outline. Okay, you don't need a lot because it's this goes a long way to be honest. Um just make sure all your holes are covered. You can get the other masks. 
as well. Um, put a bit more on. I've not got all this bottom corner yet. So we just make sure ooh, well, our card base is covered and all the holes and the bubbles holes. Okay, then what we'll do is scrape the excess off. Okay. bit there Ooh. and if I don't put my finger in it <laughs> right okay so if you put the lid on this straight away and then what you have to do straight away as well is you have to clean your tools okay because if not it will ruin them um, and you will not be able to use them same with your mask Right, so first of all, what we'll do is we'll take this off. And there we go. And I've just done the corner of it. Go Wally with a mask. You have to see what uh, you have to be really careful because I've just done the corner of it with the mask. Do put underneath, okay. And what you need to do is you need to put that to one side to dry, okay. Right, so first things first, what we're going to do, put that on the base. What I tend to do is just get a couple of wet wipes, just wipe most of it off, and then wash it, wash it with certain water in the sink. Also means that you're going to have to wait for a bit to do your card base to wait quite a while but what I've done in put that to one side and we'll put that to one side and I'll take that wash it but what I've done true blue Peter fashion blue Peter fashion here's one I made earlier right okay so we'll attach this with some wet glue onto our car base. Ooh, and I'm chucking my glue everywhere. Right, that embossing paste does come in a shimmery white or just a plain white. And you can get different masks with it as well. Let me just um, get the masks which you can use, which this is one of them. Which these go with the other oh, sweet soiree sweet. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, this is uh, some of the seasonal ones we've had. I don't know I don't know if you've got you can still get them now, but look at that's gorgeous. Some stripes, like a cable knit effect. Um, and then I'll put that away and on that and then with the pattern party one which we like you can which cut that out would look gorgeous in the uh, silver and bricks which I have done this before on um, a black and bird house roof. And then we've got the diamonds, gorgeous. And then I think these were for the oh, look at that, that is absolutely gorgeous. 
we can do clouds which will look good in either the shimmery white or shimmery white or the white pen white so yeah um so there's some of the mash you can get right so we've got that stuck down okay then using the stitched shaped framelits which are these babies and yeah you've got four of the squares you have four of the circles and four of the ovals um, which i absolutely love um give a nice finish to a project which as you can see stitch shape all the way around Right. And then what we've done is we've stamped it, stamped the image you want onto a piece of Whisper White card. Could you tell with this smallest one? I think it's the smallest one. Um, it's the two and one eighth inch one, uh, which would be, I think it's about two and a quarter one. But yeah. Stamp the image on die cut it out using the stitch shape for it. Stitched shape framelits. Uh, um, and then just colour the image in. And then what we're going to do is wet glue on the back if we can get the wet glue out. Wet glue on the back. And pop it on a piece of Pacific Point. I think, it's, I think it's that, that's how you pronounce it. Um, on the back of there. Then on the back of that, I did get out. Yes, I did, did it. My dimensionals. Put one in each corner. And it's easier if you've got nails to do this. I haven't. I've got. Sh I have to keep them sharp because I walk around in gutches. So, hand nails digging into your palms is not a good idea. Right. I do. Otherwise, we'll be here all day. See what I mean now? It's easier with nails. Mm. It's easier if I put one where it's still got the backing on. Right, so. Oh, do you know this one's being a bit of a. It's not got my glasses on either. Right, so we'll pop that there like so. And then what we've done is we've stamped out your awesome. And cut it out and then done like a fish tail at the end which how you do that you will cut it out then you would snip up the middle to where you want it then going from the corner to the middle corner to the middle quite simple and what we'll do we'll put some put two dimensionals on the back of that Take the backing off those and then what we're going to do, we're going to just pop it slightly under there, pop it on like that, there we go. One for boy, one for girl, can be used for whatever you want, but yeah, I can say all the links below to my shop, joining Stampin' Up! Um, my Facebook, my blog, where you can find all the measurements for these and all these things I've used as well. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. I uh, hope to see you again soon. Okay then, bye!